Alright, everyone, when cops realize they have arrested an FBI agent. My surf shark. My uh, Dr. Insanity here, guys. FBI agents are some of the most powerful authorities, even more powerful than cops. But what happens when FBI agents mess up and cops try to arrest them? This guy was approached on the street by a team oh, snap. Okay, guys. of cops who claimed he looked like a criminal they'd been searching for. But little did police know, he was actually an undercover FBI agent about to do the unthinkable. Get out of my face, man. You guys harassed me. Oh, he said, he, he's being, uh, you know, he's being as disrespectful as uh, them for just approaching him, guys. Yes, you guys are. Hey, that's you're not, fucking that's harassing that's me. That's 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 yes, you that's are. That's no, no, that's no, that's he's that's harassing that's me. That's Why are you harassing that's me? That's you're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay. Dang, bro. He's not having it today, guys. Not gonna lie. How do I hide the Taz bar here, guys? No, 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 no. I'm not free to go. Okay. Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? The cops can... When, when he says that, you know the cops are going to be like, okay, okay. He knows a little bit about his stuff here, right? You know what I mean? Confirmed that they've pulled over this man because he looks like a man that they have a warrant out for. Remember that the law requires... Oh, oh just because he looks like a man who has a warrant. What? cops to have reasonable suspicion that somebody has committed a crime before making an arrest, meaning they were way beyond their rights. I'm not here. So what? I don't have a wrong. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. We're not going to play this game. No, no, no. Hold on. The cops continue to give an incredibly loose reason for detaining him and also state that if they're wrong... It's like they just want to win and like... The, the situation and they just want to exert their power bro like it's all it's randomly trying to like uh, you know detain him now guys like they just don't want to be disrespected but it happens quite often because would you try to detain him in this situation they're wrong at this point he, he's not even like showing his fbi badge or nothing guys he could have did that a, a lot sooner, but I guess he's just, uh, you know, uh, taking, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's taking his time here for, just so he can, like, prove him wrong, you know, see how far they take it. That's what I think. A terrifying statement that's both unprofessional and dangerous. If an officer feels comfortable using that logic here, it's likely they'd also feel comfortable using it in a higher stakes situation, possibly endangering the public. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, officer. Hey, 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 hey
Uh, would you feel the same situation? But at least the cops were respectful of this agent after finding out his true identity. Things ended yeah, that's good. Right. Differently for ATF agent Burke, who was treated so badly by police that he had to file a lawsuit against. No, I saw this. I didn't know it was actually real, though. But let, let, let's see the uh, at. Like, I wish it. You know, he he posted like the aftermath of uh, the stuff that happens here. Yeah. But first, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, Surfshark, for helping us make these videos. Another one. I mean, talked about it in the start, but again. Millions of crimes are committed every year, and while most crimes are tough to prevent, Surfshark protects you from any kind of danger while you're surfing online, and all for just a fraction of the price of other VPNs. Think of Surfshark like your internet's best friend, having a built-in VPN feature that will keep your identity and data completely safe. Yeah, that's what we need. Surfshark encrypts your data so that cyber criminals and malicious companies can't steal any of your... <laughs> VPNs are cool, but they do slow down your connection, so there's like no point for me to use one. Sensitive information with a whole range of different options and features, so you can browse the internet however you like. Surfshark even allows you to change your virtual location to any place on Earth, allowing you to unlock exclusive region-locked content from your favorite shows on YouTube and Netflix. Yeah, that's usually the selling port points for uh, these... Uh... Things. Flex. On top of this, some companies such as airlines charge you unfairly based on your location. However, with Surfshark, you can completely prevent this with the click of a button. And right now, using the code Insanity, you can. Yep, check it out, guys. Let me make my webcam smaller. You can get an extra three months of Surfshark for completely free. So get the link in the description now. Thanks again to Surfshark. Agent Burke was dispatched to a house to confiscate a firearm that had been illegally acquired by the residents. Now, now this one just makes me sad. I've seen a, seen a little bit of it on TikTok. However, instead of being granted access to the home, the door was instead shut in his face and the residents called the police. The cops were given Agent Burke's badge number, but still treated the incident as a break-in and Burke as a criminal. Uh, hey, turn around. Let me see your hands. Turn around. Let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Damn, bro. He just straight up escalated it immediately, guys. What is this agent thinking? I mean, uh, not the agent, the, the police officer. Now. I'm a federal agent. 917 10-3. I'm a federal agent. Get on the ground! Agent Burke refuses immediate orders to get on the ground, likely so police can check if he's armed or not, and continues the investigation safely. Burke believes that because he's... Yeah, that's something that they... I don't think he should have did there, because, you know, the police are the one with the guns there and stuff. The, they're in uniform and stuff. Not... Uh, he probably didn't just believe him, but, federal but still, guys. Agent, he's not subject to the orders of municipal police. But if that was the case, any criminal could falsely claim there were a federal agent to bypass police orders. While he may not think he looks like a threat himself, it remains that he should have politely followed the orders so the cops could figure out the situation easily. But instead, things continued to escalate. What the heck's the matter with you? Who do you think you are? Get on, get on the ground! I'm not getting out of here. for things. I'm not kidding. I'm pulling up. I got my ID. Do not I'm reach for your up. waist. Keep your hands up. Once a second officer arrives, Burke finally follows the orders and lays down on the ground. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a no, moron. Wait a second. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. Please. We're getting you secured first. Please, please, wait. No, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I'm hyperventilating. Please, wait, please, sir. I'm wait, a, resisting. I, I'm not. Stop resisting. Would you now. please get my ID out of my left pocket? Stop. I'm begging resist. you. My my wife's pray. Please, it's Stop right here. Resist. Please get it. Wait, sir, help me up. Just hold me up. Dang, he said he's got a medical condition, guys. Like these police are being pretty rough with him, right? Sir, I can't do it. Wait, sir. Stop resisting now. Please, please help me. Sir, please get, get my my, my get federal your tager creds. Tager. Get your taser out, Dill. No, don't do that, please. Sir, don't make me tase you. You're gonna get taped. Put your right no. arm behind your back. Okay. Put your right arm behind Help your back. Help me up. No. Help me up. No, you're gonna stay on the ground and put your right arm behind your back. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. You can I'm breathe gonna. Just fine. I'm gonna. Ow! Ow! Don't do that. Okay. Here. My get God. Him get him cuffed. It is cuffed. Please get him stop. Cuffed. Get him cuffed. Please stop, sir. 
Wait a second. Sir, please help me up. In the distressing footage, Burke continues to tell the officers that he's an ATF agent out on a call and to simply take his ID from his back pocket. After finally looking at his ID, officers keep him under arrest and take him to their patrol vehicle. Why would you make us do this? I didn't want you to. I wanted to. Wait. No. Hold him. He's hold him. Hold him. Hold him. I'm knocking the door. Relax. Hold him. Hey, guys, please. Just talk to me for one second. Please get in the car. No. Hey, bro. I, I wonder if he wins this lawsuit, guys. Do you think he should win this lawsuit? Talk later. Sure. Let me know in the comments below. The cops then force Burke into the vehicle, talking over his pleas and explanations regarding his medical condition. Please, sir. I if you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to give you my creds. We got him in the car. He might even be a real uh, cop, but he wouldn't tell us, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, uh, wouldn't get on the ground. I mean, what the heck? Yeah. We had to tase him, so we got a medic coming. If he is an actual police officer, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Sir, I'm not I'm to... You're not. You're right. You're not. Yeah. No, you screwed up. You bet. Police continued to detain Burke in their patrol vehicle for over an hour longer before eventually releasing him without charges. Despite not necessarily showing perfect co Dang, bro. A whole hour, guys. Himself, Burke decided to sue the Columbus Police Department, citing excessive force and... I think he should win, like, they actually tase him and stuff, guys. ...unlawful arrest. The original complaint says that after the incident, which caused him both physical and mental harm, he was taken from active duty and confined solely to administrative and support roles, with adjustments having to be made to the department to accommodate him. As of this video's upload, the case is still ongoing. Snap. Still ongoing, guys. All right, we're going to have one more story here. Realistically, both parties involved in this case were in the wrong to some extent, but... I, I do think that so as well, guys. In the case of Mac Proctor, things are totally different. Mac. All right, let's see how this one is, guys. Is supposedly an undercover agent with a very strong knowledge of the law, and he's about to show exactly how corrupt police officers can be. He said supposedly, uh oh, uh oh. Completely unprovoked. Mac was parked in a private parking lot waiting for a takeout order while on his shift as a delivery driver. While his vehicle wasn't in a designated parking spot, it wasn't blocking the flow of traffic, and he'd only left it there unattended while picking up his food. Upon returning to his vehicle, Mac was approached by a police officer stating he was violating parking rules. Alright, Mr. Proctor. Uh, that is your last name. Everything okay? Do I need to answer any of your questions? You don't have to answer anything. Dude. Okay. You don't um, have to. I could stand here all day. I get can, paid either way. Can you go ahead and finish your job so I can carry on? What's it with the anger, dude? I'm not angry. Hey, bro, that, the police officer wanted to be respected, man. But so did this guy. You're not angry? You always talk to everybody like that? I'm, I'm not angry. Oh, okay. okay. I just want you to go ahead and wrap things up, please. Oh, okay. Of course, Mac has every right to stay silent in the face of the officer's questions, especially ones that don't at all pertain to criminal proceedings. At no point did he raise his tone or say anything out of line, yet the officer asks why he's being so angry. Many people think that some police officers are used to consistently being in command and control on these interactions, and it's- Guys, you know, but with it, what he said at the start though, you know, it, it was a, you know, a- uh, an attitude, uh, in my opinion, guys. It's possible the same is true with this officer. When Mac exercised his rights and just asked for things to be moved along, this cop was surprised and took it as a combative statement. All right, well, you know, I'm gonna give you a, a break on it, but you know what I'm saying? This isn't a parking spot, okay, dude? You're not giving me a break. You're harassing me at I'm this point. I, I'd like to here. leave. May I leave now, please? Uh -huh. Well, do you understand? Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Okay. All right. So do you understand why I stopped you? Do I need to answer any no, more of your questions? I'm, you don't have to. Okay. The officer informs Mac that he is being detained for parking here. To issue a citation for parking violation, you must be breaking either local, state, or federal law. Something like parking in a handicapped spot without proper documentation. Hey, Mr. Proctor, can I give you your stuff so you can leave? Can you? I can, but you're the one. I would have let you go a long time ago. What do I need to do for you to hand me my documents so well, I can I'll leave? I'll you right now. I just want to know that, you know, that you're okay, because usually I don't get people all... This what do you. I need to do for you to hand me my documents so you I can be on my way? you're okay. I don't need to answer any of your questions. Okay, there we go again. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to say that... Uh, you're trying... I mean, just hand the documents over, bro. It doesn't have to be this kind of, like, freaking 
semi-confrontational situation, guys. ...to display your power to me no, right now. I'm concerned about it. Is there a problem to be concerned about another human being? You okay. have no reason to be concerned about me. So it's okay then. You're okay then. You can hand me my documents and I can be on my way. Or we can... Fine. Okay. You're not gonna... Okay, here. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a chance on you. All right, here. Mr. Proctor, um, you're about... Everything's cool. All right. We're blocking traffic here to your stop. Mac was allowed to leave without further incident, but this interaction raises questions about why he was met with further difficulties after doing nothing other than exercising his Fifth Amendment right. In fact, it's strange that the entire interaction even happened in the first place. If the officer had observed Mac's vehicle obstructing traffic, the incident could have been avoided by simply asking him to move his vehicle out of the way. He was just like, yeah, cause be doing that just because you're parked it differently, man. And let or trying to get like a huge bust or something. I don't know, guys. Him go about his day from there. Instead, the officer detained Mac, preventing him. I was, I was, uh, I was questioned for sleeping in my car when I was homeless. For moving his vehicle and keeping it in the very place that's allegedly impeding traffic flow. The cop later found out that Mac wasn't even a federal agent or officer himself, and simply managed to prove just how valuable it is to know the law. And once again, he wasn't even one. Thank you to sir. Well, uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear him like talk about being one, but Surf Shark, click the link in the description and use the. All right, guys. First guy was not a FBI agent. This has been debunked. Further guy. Furthermore, the first guy was in the wrong. Uh oh, police suspect. He is a guy with an active warrant. They can request ID lawfully. Him refusing instruction and therefore arrestable. Person who made this video is very clear bias and clearly incapable of confirming the story is untrue or not. This channel earned an unsub for me. What? First guy isn't an FBI agent. He posted a response to video claiming it was a mistagged video that constantly got reposted as such. And they were doing was all they were doing was verifying he wasn't the person they were looking for and saw his ID and verified it wasn't. That's my Uncle Willie, he's an FBI agent, oh my gosh. He's up. Oh, those are troll comments. So they never really get an FBI agent, man. First man was an FBI agent, he did an interview, said he worked as an EMT in Rochester. Yeah, they've never arrested an FBI agent, guys. But it seems, man. Alright guys, that's the video. Check out Dr. Insanity in the description. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi. You're more welcome later.